it done? We're gonna put this on YouTube too. Ooh, double app! Yay! CRD cap, and now we're gonna put on a sticker. Okay. Okay, I'll pop the bubbles, okay? Put them on. Yeah. Got this brand new package in of our Momo Mod 80 leather steering wheel. Just came in the package from uh, UPS. It's gonna go on this beautiful thing right here. Comparison of both steering wheels where we uh, take the works bill off the grant and put it on the Momo. As you can see, showing them a little bit, the uh, Momo is slightly bigger than the grant at 350 millimeter.
All right, let's get to work. Gonna note where the top of the steering was, which is right here. We're gonna note that so we can put the Momo top of the steering in the same position. is going to sit like so. This is a piece that Momo provided and the wires are going to come through these little um, valleys right here. All right, so that when the, this screws down to the uh, quick release, the wires are not clenched because they're hidden in this valley on both sides. All right. All right, and this will be your um, your connectors here that Momo provided with the buttons. So what we're gonna do now is make sure this hole here apparatus lines up as perfectly as possible. All right, as you can see, there is a small discrepancy with the way the holes line up. So. You can see this one here is top and straight down, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Here on the grant, it's not in the middle and going straight down. The six holes are orchestrated a little bit differently. All right, so we are going to still set it up as um, best as possible with this, um, with a quick release, and then see how it centers up. That way, when it goes on, our steering will be straight while the wheels are straight. So we're going to see how we can modify that and get it to um, line up properly. All right, now we're going to take these off. As you can see from the works bill, zoom down close, you can see it has plenty holes there for multiple lineup. All right, I'm going to take this grant horn button off. A slight extension. And this is a, here is a, is a shim. All right. When the shim is lined up properly, if you zoom in all the way, you can see all the holes. If the shim is lined up improper. Or on this side, you will see that this hole is covered. This one is exposed, but this one is covered. So line it up where you can see all the holes. Take your time. All right. Again, this is the works bell. Uh, wrap fix two, quick release. attempt to just quick fit our Momo steering on it. All right guys, just uh, quick fitting the, the, the wires. And there is another issue here. See on the works bill, the ground is a tiny um, connector. On the Momo, it's a big connector. It won't fit in each other. So uh, it's two things. Either I'm gonna shave this down or I'm gonna have to uh, change it. All right. All right, attempting to um, cut this down, this um, receptacle here this connector so it can fit inside this one as you can see right now it's too big we're gonna try to slice a piece off of it and test fit it all right there we go 
We're connected right now. And now just to cover up the sharp edges with this uh, wire protector here. Later on, after everything is sealed, we'll um, shrink to this and get it to seal properly. And this side as well. Trying to um, mock up uh, works bill here. Quick release. This Momo steering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Momo. It's a Momo steering. To catch up these uh, bolts in here. Just got to make sure we're not clinching this. Make sure they're in the valley here, right? Mm -hmm. Freely. Valley. Right. Shiny lights on right there. Make sure these wires are freely in the valley on both sides because mm -hmm. you don't want them to get clinched, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, just try to run these things up. Daddy, can I help? No, boss. This is very important that you don't cross thread them. You run them up, make sure they're running up freely, mm -hmm. nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. All right. We got these finger tight run up here. They're nice and loose. Mm -hmm. Everything is nice and loose there. So we're gonna run them up with our Allen key that um, Momo provided with their Mod 80 steering wheel. Ooh, that looks good. Can we use it as slam free tools? Yes. You should put it in a toolbox. You right. should put that into I'm not going to tighten it all the way. After I run them up, get them just slightly snug. Not even. I'm going to. That's a lot. I'm going to turn again. Door. My wires are nice and free. You see, I will light up. Voila nice and free on this side nice and free they're in the valley where they're supposed to be this um this uh mechanism here that um momo provided is excellent because i seen a guy trying to mount a steering like this on youtube somewhere and they use washers to be a spacer so this spacer here that momo provides that um gives you access to run your wire through, clinch free. Excellent, excellent piece to complement this um, mounting assembly. The process, the mounting process from Momo. You go to six o'clock. You go up to 12 o'clock. That's not 12 o'clock, this is 12 o'clock. No. This would be 6 o'clock because at the bottom, 12 o'clock would be oh, the top. Right. But you're upside down, right? Right. Like that. Just another little snug to make sure all of them has the same tension. Alright guys, this is um trying it out. Mod 80 from Momo. I'm gonna try it out. It's already mounted to my uh, works bell quick release, and the wiring is set inside there. All right, so it's Momo stamped into the metal right here. Made in Japan. No, it says made in Italy. You well, can't. look over here. That's the works bell. Oh. Yeah, the works bell is made in Japan, but the Momo that I'm addressing is made in Italy. It says 8 21 right there. Oh, that means it's from 2021. Voila. It is, it is centered. Alright. If and it you looks, are following, looks pretty good. you're doing good.